Police have a person of interest in custody connected to a deadly shooting at a moving company. Officers are still investigating what led up to the gunfire this morning near 86th and F Streets. That's where KETV Newswatch 7's Josh Cristianto is live. Josh? Yeah, this all happened in the parking lot of All My Sons Moving and Storage near 86 and F Streets this morning. Police have since left the scene, but they're still trying to piece together what happened. Omaha police officers closing off a portion of F Street Thursday morning as they investigate a deadly shooting. Units responding to a 911 call at around 7.30, shots fired inside the All My Sons Moving Building. The call details stated that the shooting started inside the business. Uh, then continued outside to the parking lot. Another business across the street tells me two of their employees heard the shots initially. When officers arrived, they found a man dead in the parking lot. Police saying that victim is an All My Sons employee. At this time, we have a person of interest in custody who's being transported to Omaha Police Headquarters uh, for further interviews. All this comes as the city has seen a wave of gun violence within the last 24 hours. Police say during the summertime, people tend to get irritated more quickly with the hot weather. We have seen a recent uptick in violence in the city. Uh, we've been working diligently, the homicide unit, the assault squad, uh, all of our detectives in the uh, Criminal Investigation Bureau have been working to follow up on these leads and follow up on these cases and to ensure that uh, the summer doesn't get off to a hot start. While law enforcement does see an uptick in violence, they say community partnerships have helped reduce the numbers over the last couple years. Police say the public isn't in any danger from this incident now. They're still investigating how it started. And police say they are still waiting on the homicide unit to release the identities of both the victim and the suspect in this case, and we'll bring you that information as soon as we get it. Reporting live, Josh Cristiano, KTV News Watch 7.